Happening today, the U.S. is set to begin its first moon mission in 50 years after being delayed earlier this week. NASA's Artemis rocket is set to launch an uncrewed trip around the moon. CBS 2 Skylar Henry live at the Kennedy Space Center where the rocket is being readied for takeoff this afternoon. Good morning, Skylar. Hey, Cindy, good morning to you. Well, a few hurdles for NASA this morning as they attempt to have this second launch here on Launchpad 39B. For one, they've noticed a few leaks when they are trying to fill the liquid hydrogen in this rocket, so much so that they had to do what they call a stop fill, ultimately trying to put this liquid hydrogen back in manually, and then ultimately, if everything works out, if they notice that there are no more leaks detected, then they will try to catch back up to their prepared timeline on this historic mission. NASA will try again today to take a giant leap towards sending astronauts back to the moon. Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub. On Monday, the space agency called off its test flight of Artemis 1 due to fuel leaks and a faulty engine sensor. Right now, team has really just done a fantastic job getting us out of launch attempt number one, repairing all the issues, and getting us into a safe configuration to proceed into a tomorrow's launch attempt. We've learned so many lessons in the last just few days. About Ahmed Shatria is the assistant Deputy Associate Administrator for Exploration. Right now, he's thinking all about all the hard work that's gone into building the rocket, but that will change at liftoff. Do you think about, okay, what happens once this gets off the ground? Absolutely. I mean, we gotta, we gotta get on with it. We gotta get Orion to lunar orbit, and we gotta, you know, make sure we're doing all the right things in terms of the decisions we're making about when to bring it back. The rocket is NASA's most powerful to date. On top is the uncrewed Orion capsule, which will one day carry humans back to the moon. This is a test flight. Before you put humans on it, you stress it and you test it. Uh, and you put loads on it that you wouldn't normally do with a human. If there's another scrub, liftoff moves to Monday afternoon. But for now, Artemis 1 is on the pad, poised for its maiden journey. So a couple of things we should mention in the, in the last half, half hour, NASA says that teams have completed pressurization of the line and restarted flow of liquid hydrogen to the tank. So good news there. Fingers crossed that they don't notice any more hydrogen leaks as they continue to try to catch up to their timeline. But as for the weather, forecasters say that it will be around 60% in terms of perfect condition for this launch to happen at the start of this window, which is slated for 217 this afternoon. Ironically, on the back half of this window, that the, uh, the chances for the weather conditions improving go up to about 80%. So if NASA can get through these hurdles, Mother Nature is certainly on their side. All right, we'll cross our fingers. Skylar Henry live. Thank you so much.